everybody yes indeed today we're all about celebrating beautiful wonderful women and i have been waiting i think from the week we launched this show i called this guest to come on the show because i'm just such a huge fan of her work you have seen her on mali the ntv show every, she's done every amazing tv show in this country i think actually in my opinion but recently she has decided to venture internationally she is on season two of Sense8, which is currently on Netflix, and she's here. Everybody, please welcome the beautiful Mumbi Maina. Hello. You're so beautiful. Hello. Oh, good to see you. Gorgeous. You too, as always. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Super. Jane and Abel, that's the show that, that skipped my mind. You are also in that. Yes. Okay, how are you doing? Amazing. Congratulations on all your wonderful success. Thank you. Isn't it great, guys? <laughs> when you're sitting watching YouTube and then you see our peoples there, <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable in the skip ad. So, Mumbi, mm -hmm. I think let's start from the very beginning before we talk about your venture into Hollywood. Yes. Um, when, when did you get this acting back? How did it all start? Well, um, it started in 2007. Okay. I did a film called Unseen and Sung and Forgotten, which uh, happened by chance because I was taking my sister for an audition. And the director said um, they'd like to see me try. And I was like, no not happening no never <laughs> <laughs> and um i used to dance so i was like if you want me to dance that's fine you want me to act yeah. what am i gonna do anyway so my sister said she's not leaving until i try and um i mean she you know and she was on driving yeah. it was very far <laughs> and i'm lazy so <laughs> i was like you know what okay fine let me try um and i got the lead role mm -hmm. and then when it came out um i got nominated for kalash award and um after that, I mean, I went back to the corporate world and I asked myself, if I had everything that I've ever dreamed of in my life yeah. in regards to finances or what it is, what would I be doing with my life? And I realized the one job that I would wake up happy to do was acting. Nice. Yeah, so I went for auditions and that was the beginning of my career. Were you born to do this, would you say? I believe I was born to do this. I feel like it chose me. I love it. Yeah. Now, looking at, of course, there's all kinds of methods of acting and there's all kinds of ways to sort of bring out the character. Yeah. When you started out uh, mm -hmm. and when you were trying to establish yourself, tell me about the kind of roles that you would take and how you fit into those roles. Well, I, the same way that I feel that um, acting chose me, sometimes I feel like it's a role that chooses you. Mm -hmm. You know, and you, you get so attached to one specific ca character. Even if you're given a script for an entire movie, mm -hmm. there's one person that just brings you know that just sticks out for you yeah. and that's what happens and and for me i feel like um, it tends to whatever it is that's going on in my life if i need it's very therapeutic for me so if i need something that um to heal from one thing or if, or if i need to get clarity in another thing i tend to get roles that f you know fit in that part of my life right yeah so um i don't know it's, it's always been that way for me i love it i think one of the things um that i find I sort of look at, National Theatre is next door, mm. and I sort of look at actors and actresses, and there's this fear of sort of, you know, if you don't get a part, if you don't get called, if you don't get an audition, uh. does that mean that you will never work? And, and that has happened to many, many actors and yeah. theatres across uh, the industry. Mm. Uh, for you, getting the role, getting the call, getting that call back, mm. getting to even audition, which is a big deal, yeah. how has it been for you over the years? Um, it's a learning experience yeah. and I think that, you know, people shouldn't shy away from auditions because you learn from every single audition that you get. Um, my first, when I decided to not pursue this f fully, yeah. um, <laughs> I went for this audition and I was very new, obviously, and I, uh, when, when we got the call back and about three of us were left, and so we auditioned and we did well and was three girls and were talking to each other like girlfriends kind yeah. of thing, right? And when the scene was done, me. I decided, <laughs> me, I decided yeah. I should end the scene for the director. So I was like, and cut. And everyone looks at me and is thinking, what, what's going on with mm -hmm. this chick? So I lost the role because. Did you really? <laughs> I, I <laughs> because obviously, you know, you want, um, every director wants an actor that they can be easy with. Right. Now, if I'm already deciding I'm director plus producer plus everything. You're doing everybody's <laughs> job, exactly. <laughs> you know, it didn't yeah. work well for me, but that but was But you didn't really know any better, I I bet. didn't know any better. Okay. So in fact, one of the actors who was sitting there, um, she told me, yeah, you know, you don't do that during ah. an audition. But I wouldn't have learned that 
you know, unless I went for the audition. Exactly. And so when I went for the next audition after that and the next audition, you know, you keep learning and you keep growing. And if a role is yours, it's yours. I love it. That's something that I've always known. How have you put yourself out there in terms of the headshots, the digital footprint, the agency, if you have one? Mm. Um, how do people usually find actors? I've always found that kind of interesting. Mm. Um, in terms of your own self and, and has that improved uh, as you've worked in the industry? Well, um, for me, what, what really, um, uh, what started off for me was Mali. You know, once, once I was on, on, that, um, on that show, it opened up a lot of doors for me. And so um, I also learned about one particular website, actors.co.ke, and mm -hmm. they always put up auditions and they put a lot of stuff there. Okay. So you can just always go there if you need you know, to learn um, about auditions or anything like that, S as well as KNT. Yeah. You know, okay. they always have, they always put up auditions. Um, but that aside, um, I've forgotten what you asked me. Yeah, it's okay. I think you kind of it's answered gone. it. No, you, did, you like did answer it. No, it's fine. Um, yeah, look, look, how they find you, how they find you and how you find them and yeah. how you get the part. I think you answered the question uh, okay. well enough. Um, so you're so <laughs> sweet. No, you're nice. good. You're okay. Um, okay, so one of the things I can definitely say is that you're known very much so. Uh, and you have a huge fan base based on the show Mali. Mm. Um, do you feel like people put or, or will just think that's who she is. All the they time. meet you on the streets and they're All already the mad at you. All the time. How is it? All the time. Yeah. In fact, they're more mad that I smile. <laughs> they're like, why do you smile? Why are you smiling? Because you're Wab Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So tell ah, me. In how, fact, how, there's, how a time, is it? Um, there's a time that some ladies from church went home to make sure that I was not poisoning my mother in real are life. Are you <laughs> kidding me? I'm not kidding. Because your career was, was a Africa volatile. For you. <laughs> Guys, watch you, and they actually believe that oh, this is yeah, who you really they were are. On it, but like this child, hmm, she's of the devil. She's how not do you? With us. How do you separate? <laughs> You guys, if you used to watch, and I loved your character on it. How do you separate that character that you have to walk into work to and leave at work with your own life? Mm. Uh, and are you, are you like your character? What? <laughs> Don't drink that. No, okay. you may never mm -hmm, know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, um, you know what? Um, we were shooting. Oh God, we, we had a very tight schedule when we were shooting Mali. Yeah. It was basically our lives. I mean, we were shooting six days a week. Um, 14 hours a day right for like a year and a half mm -hmm. so perhaps I did become the character no I'm kidding I didn't <laughs> no I'm kidding no. you're, you're good, you're good. No, yeah. I'm good um, but you know what um she's so different yeah from who I am that um, I had to dig into the evil side you know, we all have a dark side. I think every human Everybody. being has a dark side. Right. But we never tap into it. You know, at least we hope not to or yeah. we'd all be in prison. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty easy because of how dramatic she was, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And, and, yeah, it was easy to just be that dramatic. When, when it became very apparent to you that that was a hugely popular show and that everybody was now starting to recognize you, mm. you can't even go into super cosmetics and just buy your <laughs> things, how was it for you and how do you handle fame? It was a surprise. Yeah? It was a huge surprise. And I think even for, for Kenyans at the time, because we'd never, never, we never had a show before like yeah. that. We never had a soap where you're in someone's living room three times a week, yeah. you know. And the story was so real for mm -hmm. so many Kenyans, you know, because it was nice also seeing our own stuff yeah. and, and, and a good show right. at that. Um, so it, it, you know, it took a lot of adjusting yeah, to do. Absolutely. Yeah. I cut sure. my hair, but I got over it. I remember that. <laughs> you remember? Now, you <laughs> all, all obviously got other parts, uh, even when the show still had, was ke uh, kept running on air, rather. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about sort of now coming out of that and looking, because I feel like you can only do the same thing for so long. Mm -hmm. and, and you are one of these people who refuses to plateau and continuously wants to grow and, and learn. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the transition from show to show, from role to role. How has that been for you? It's been, it's been great. It's yeah. been phenomenal. Um, the next you know, huge show that I did after Mali was Jane and Abel. Yes. And the character was sweet and humble yeah, she and was. chilled and, and a, bit, um, a bit of a doormat mm -hmm. compared to Nandi on Mali who yeah. was, she, she mm -hmm. was ready for anything. <laughs> so it was a complete extreme complete for you? Complete extreme, okay. which was, it was welcoming. It was nice to, it was nice to have that actually. What was Jane and Abel, what's, what's Jane and Abel about? We're just about to play your show reel, but tell us okay, a little bit about great. that. Okay, yeah. um, great. Jane and Abel is based on um, a very wealthy family as well, sort of that's similar to, to Mali. And mm -hmm. um, Abel is the son of a very wealthy um, tycoon. Mm -hmm. 
And Jane turns out to be a lady who, um, <laughs> she was born of uh, the house girl. Oh. And none of them knew. Okay. So basically what she does is she builds her own empire and decides to start war with the family that Abel yeah, is in. like empire. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, I love, it. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. OK, great. <laughs> All right, so you have an amazing show, which is online. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. um, of the breadth of work that you've done, and when you look, uh, sometimes I look at my old show reel, and yeah. I'm like, how did, how was I even proud? But you like, have to be proud even from your humble is. beginnings, you know? Um, for oh, you, when you look on, you've at always your show. been fabulous. No, nah, girl. Like, seriously. Oh, so seriously. sweet. Well, seriously. When, when you look back at <laughs> when you started, and Oof. when you look at yourself now, how do you feel? You know, I was told today that I look older on TV, so I don't know how to take everything. Really? I'm very confused oh. about this question. <laughs> Doesn't she look gorgeous in person? <laughs> yes. Oh, All right. Stop. <laughs> and you, you look even more gorgeous, I bet, on TV as well. <laughs> All right, so guys, we'll be right back with Mombi. But before we take a quick break, we wanted to share with you her show reel. And then we're going to talk about her being on Netflix. This is awesome. We'll be right back after <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Guys, we're here with Mombi Minor, who is an amazing actress. You just saw her show reel, and we are back with her. All right. Uh, unbelievable what you've achieved it's no small feat and we're just so so proud f of you. you um i can't wait to see where you want to go you know the last time i spoke to you we we were laughing laughing it was when lupita had won the oscar yes and i was like mommy you're going to be next you know <laughs> international hollywood here we come and yes you know hollywood came to you mm. okay tell me a little bit about your 2016 and how it was so crazy for everybody that yeah. year yeah. but it was a good year for you it was a good year. Tell me. <laughs> um, I mean, it was phenomenal having um, an opportunity to, well, first, you know, when I got the, the email mm -hmm. that, um, about this character and, um, you know, coming audition, et cetera, et cetera, it's going to be on Netflix. I was like, what? Yeah. Hold on. You, <laughs> you know that, you're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? And what was so funny for me was um, a few years ago when they did season one, yeah. I was so depressed because really? I was like, how does this thing come and go? Mm -hmm. I had no idea that even there were auditions going on, so I kept feeling like it's just passed me by, you know, which yeah. is the same reason that I kept saying, you know, when a role is yours, it's yours, yeah. and when it's your time, it's your time, you know? So um, I went for the audition, and, and everything went well, mm -hmm. and then they gave me another call back, and um, I was excited. I was like, great, and then I went for it, and there were all these huge actors, mm -hmm. and I was like, what am I doing here? You know, yeah. I was checking my Instagram followers at that time thinking, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm seeing people with 100,000 and whatnot. I was like, and it's okay, I will get there one day. You know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, I remember, I, yeah, it was a tough day for me. I wasn't feeling well as well. And, and um, they brought in the uh, Lana Wachowski to yeah. come and, and, um, and audition, and I was so nervous. And I, and I didn't recognize her. So I just thought, this was this glorious woman with pink hair. Yes. This is like so great. But anyway, you know, um, and I went ahead and did it. And I felt like I really blundered. Yeah. I really felt like I blundered the, the audition because mm -hmm. the first part of it was great. The second part, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. It was but one of those. But you got the role. I got the role. I remember because I went, I went to meet a friend of mine afterwards and I went to Java and, and I put my head on the table like this and then I asked the guy just bring me ice cream a really big bowl <laughs> and I'll be fine <laughs> yeah so because you thought for saying. a fact that you've messed it up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I was done but mm -hmm. I, I I was grateful as well because I kept thinking you know what there must be something there that they saw for me to have called me back you know for the second audition either way yeah you know so I still felt like I won mm -hmm. so when I got the call the next day and they said you know oh, we're gonna fly you to to Berlin to audition again I was like wow nice Awesome. I mean, you're being flown for an audition. You know the things are good. What? When a whole pro Hollywood production <laughs> company is flying you to Europe. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Wonderful. <laughs> Give it great. up for her. <laughs> yeah. It's a big deal. It, it was. Yeah. It was. And I was very grateful. Amazing. And um, it hit me actually when I came back. When I, hit the, when I got to the airport yeah. in Nairobi. Yeah. That's when it really hit me. And I was that chick. With the tears over here. <laughs> that's amazing. But um, yeah, it was a great opportunity. And um, I'm so grateful. We love it. And uh, Nation Media Group specifically partnered uh, with this production. Yeah. And uh, I had the wonderful opportunity of also starring next to you, That's which great. was so, so great. Yeah. Um, and, and just looking at the fact that Nairobi, Kenya, um, this fraternity of actors have been recognized 
by the same people who did Matrix, mm. the same people who've done the perfume, uh, Tom Twyker. I mean, looking at that kind of recognition, and not just for yourself, but yeah. for the acting, acting fraternity in Kenya. Oh, what, yeah. how, how do you feel about that? Honored. Yeah. Yeah, and and it's a good it's a great platform for us, you know. And also, you know, a lot of people tend to go to SA to shoot a lot of um, the Hollywood films, but this is also open doors for us because then you know they can come and shoot here. We have a lot more to offer as well. Okay. You know, in terms of talent, in terms of locations. Yes. Um, and I think it's going to open a few doors for us. And I I'm think very so happy too. about that. I think so too. Yeah. Today, you heard earlier we were talking about the perfect balance. Mm -hmm. I think this is when we need to get to know her personally. There's. My fist is here. We're like, mom, be mine. I say, yeah. what? So, looking at your <laughs> life Yo. when you're not on stage, <laughs> I wanted to ask you this before we get into your personal life: acting for theater mm -hmm. uh, versus film versus TV. Which one is your closest love? Oh, my first love is definitely TV. It's TV. Yeah, yeah. it is. Why? It is. It's. Um, is I it think the consistency? You it's, it's, a, it's a consistency, yeah. but also you, you, for some reason, you connect with. Um, the people who are watching the show a lot faster. Yeah. You know, because, you know, you, you interact with them every week. Yeah, you true. know, so you get feedback immediately as opposed to, to a film. Theatre, of course, you also get feedback, which is great because yeah. you feel the energy from the audience and, <gasps> and that's it. a different kind of adrenaline. Mm -hmm. But I would say TV is still my first love. Okay. Yeah. Perfect balance. How do you achieve the perfect balance in your life? What do you do for fun? I'm not sure I should say that on TV. No, no, and this is a morning <laughs> family show. Be careful. All right, no, just tell us. No, um, I, I love yoga. Yeah? I do a lot of working out every mm -hmm. morning. Okay. Um, as much as I can, that yeah. is. Um, I can be a bit boring, so... Um, no, you're not. I, I can be. Yeah. Because some of my favorite things are just eating. I love to eat. <laughs> I'm telling you, no, seriously. Like, yeah. if, I could, if I could be paid yeah. to eat... Wow, I'm telling you. You'd be good to that go. That would be it. Excellent. Yo, I'd yeah. be like winning awards. <laughs> you know you have, exactly. For right? real. <laughs> ah, easy. You know you also have a huge male fan base. I'm sure you know this already. Yeah? How do you handle that? Like men just sort of like, I've, s I've been to your Instagram page mm -hmm. and I've seen some of the comments. How do you handle some of that stuff? Like, like, you know, just men just sort of drooling and... Black. Yeah, I know, she's just like, what, <laughs> just what do you mean? I'm like, yeah, what do you mean? Good actor, acting <laughs> skills. Yeah, tell us. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. hey, I want to get a Rikomondi <laughs> to do you. How to wow. be Mondi? No, wow. tell me, tell no. me. How do, how do you no. He doesn't have right? the hips, even if he tried. <laughs> he, he just can't. did Vera. He did? Trust me, he what? can pull you off, yes. Man. I know. Where am I living? Eric, Which wherever you are, mine? please, can you, can you do this lady next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, but how do you handle, how do you handle um, Team Mafisi? For lack of a better... <laughs> You just handle them. Yeah. <laughs> tell me, tell me. You just handle them. No, listen, I mean, everyone, no one's been, here's the thing, as long as no one's aggressive yeah. and, and we're just poking fun, then it doesn't really matter. I don't take it too seriously. That's to a honest. good thing. Yeah. yeah. You really don't, don't, yeah, you're very laid back, right? Yeah, very Are you seeing so someone right now? Um, there is someone special in my life. Yeah, get it. Oh. <laughs> you know what? This is what I always say. I always tell people beforehand. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you don't want to tell us about this person? Because I they're going to be watching you. Sure. They're watching you right now. They're like, you didn't claim me. Why didn't you claim me? I thought we were friends. Yeah, I thought already we been were in good. trouble like that before. So it's fine. No. But um, you're very private. I realized, yeah. How, how do you how do you make sure that in, in the day of Gaflam Pasho Daily Post? You know what? It's how a choice. How do you stay? Really? It's a choice. I mean, I I know, I know that if I wanted to be out there in a certain way, I could be. Yes, it's, it's very simple. Easy. It's, mm. not, it's not. It's not difficult. Yeah. It's not. But then. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd appreciate if people knew me for my work more than anything else okay. because that's what's number one for me, right. you know, yeah. um, besides family and, and people who are close to me. Um, there's something I'm trying to achieve with myself yeah. and that's what I would like to be out there more so than anything else. Okay. Yeah. I love that. Um, looking at your career uh, going forward, 2017, I don't know, I feel like 2017 has been a very surprising year. Yeah. I expected it to go in another way and it's not. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What were your expectations and, and looking at how we might have to go back to the drawing board, which a lot of people have been doing. Mm -hmm. Many people who've sat in this chair have told me that. Yeah. Um, what is your overall plan as the year goes on? Um, well, um, I'm traveling okay. for starters. Yeah. Um, I'm doing my first Pan-African show, nice. which is great. Okay. Um, it's going to be Nigeria and Ghana. 
um, we'll have South Africans, Kenyans. It's actually a Kenyan story, but okay. then um, we've, we've decided to mix, mix it, it up, up okay. a little bit, which is great. Um, so it's going to give us a lot of good exposure here as well, because we plan to do big things here in Kenya. Okay. Yeah, when we're shooting it. Han, so. you, you've, you've traveled to Nigeria, you mm -hmm. told us about Germany, you've been to SA. Mm -hmm. Looking at those countries and how seriously they take they take on the industry. Mm. And not to say that we don't. I mm. feel like we've made huge leaps yeah. from our first interview those days <gasps> to now. Sorry. We've made huge leaps. Yeah. But what can you say are some of the take homes that we can, even from Nigeria, um, that w we probably need to implement in this country so that a lot more people are getting positions, opportunities? Um, one thing I learned um, specifically was, well, one, not to take things for granted here, because we have, I mean, small things like electricity. Yes. I mean, we were learning on generators every single day there. That's, that's Lagos and Nigeria for you. Yeah. Across the country, everybody has a journey. Yeah. You know, it's the most basic things. I mean, <laughs> you're on set and you don't have water. Or, or you're, you know, you're on set, you're in the middle of a scene, and then electricity goes in. You know, it's hot, huh? Yeah. Yo, <laughs> it's not like a joke there. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, basically what I learned is, um, one, is not to take things for granted, and two, um, humility. I, I met a lot of actors there who were huge, huge. Huge, and just the level of humility that they had, and the way that they interacted with everyone, mm. got them more jobs as actors. You know, and that was something that I, I felt that I would love to take home okay. with me as well. I think we should make Mombi trend, shouldn't we? <laughs> I think we should make Mombi trend, but Mombi is not the only actor who's actually uh, who was on uh, Sense Eight. Mm. An amazing, amazing lineup. Oh yeah. I mean, my gosh. From Chi Chi Say, yeah. Paulo Gola, Jora, who's been on the show as well. Jora, yeah, as well. absolutely yeah. amazing, amazing cast. But listen, we want to celebrate you. You're doing such a great job, right? Should we give her a hamper from Nivea too? Yeah. yeah. Really? Let's more let her hamper. <laughs> yeah. Love Nivea. Perfect balance? Oh yeah. You're balancing your life? Definitely. Fantastic. She does oh, yoga, yeah. so that so that's a great thing. <laughs> okay. For now, Yay. as Esmo does that. Thank okay. <laughs> Guys, give it up for Mombi. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. So we are going to laugh a little. I know you love to laugh. I do. One of your favorite things. All the time. Yes, it's <laughs> true. All right, so right here's next to it's true. Here's yeah. a <laughs> <laughs> eating and laugh and chasing team Muffies. I'm just going to add that to your list of things. You do. You've just said. I do, I don't chase. What's your what? Instagram handle to just change the subject real quick? Mombi underscore minor, I think. Kukua <laughs> All right. Okay.